is Life with Brad, and today I am bringing you a different type of video, as you can see from the video title. Yes, I think you need to sit down and hear this because I believe like you're not really doing what you're supposed to do for your man, and hey, your girl may not be doing what she's supposed to do for you, so it's vice versa. You definitely need to sit down and hear these tips because it's important. And if y'all agree with me, definitely drop a comment in the comment box below and let me know what y'all think about my tip. So let's get into the video. So welcome to our intimate exploration. We are going to dive into the realm of intimate connections and pleasures. Just in all different ways right now. Well, not all different ways. It's the five tips. It, it, it still goes with the five tips. Today, I'll be giving you five tips on giving the best brain of your life or receiving the best brain of your life in case you want to, you know, teach. Yeah. Oral sex is a deep act and connection. It's a beautiful dance between two partners. Before we get into the video, Please remember that communication is key. Open and honest dialogue builds trust and understanding and allows you to understand each other's desires and boundaries. So first, the first tip is, it doesn't go with my five tips. So this is just a bonus. First, you wanna create a safe and comfortable environment to just start whatever you're about to start or just Start whatever you're about to get into. Because at the end of the day, nobody wants to be uncomfortable or feel like they're in a place where it's like, mm, it's sketchy. Like, damn, I don't want to do this here. Like, and for me being a woman, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be nowhere where it's like, I feel uneasy. Like, no, we're not doing that. Me, personally, yeah. I like a little foreplay. So, I definitely like to incorporate that if I'm doing like, like bomb oral sex like because it's it's different when you just give mediocre oral sex i'm gonna just see this person and i'm gonna just pop pop mm, i'm not really gonna do them like how i want to do them but when you with your partner you want to give your partner that that mm, like yeah like i'm gonna blow his socks off this he's not about to play with me he's not about to be thinking about no other dime like yeah i'm the only one that's gonna be on his mind but first tip eye contact definitely want to keep that eye contact because it's like once you I, I, I want to say okay you definitely want to keep the eye contact in my point of view because I feel like I don't know I'm a siren if anything so it's like I feel like I know how to captivate a man by just like looking deep into his soul like you know I got that I got it in my hand and I'm just And I'm looking at him and I'm, you know, just stroking it. Like, oh yeah, I got a prop banana. So this definitely comes in play with the sex ed, if anything. Would y'all consider this sex ed? I don't, I don't think I would consider it sex ed, if anything. But yeah, eye contact, keep that steady eye contact. Even if you don't, like eye contact i would suggest you at least give a little peaks of eye contact here and there look up look sexy come up lift the tip go down like make sure like you really swallowing that motherfucker too like but anyways i'm i'm going too far i'm going too far let me track back second tip hmm. second tip I think this is what the men like the most. Sounds, sucking. Yeah, like the sounds of the sucking, like the moaning. Well, damn, I can't, I can't demonstrate on this YouTube fuck. But definitely keep the sounds going. If you don't wanna moan, that's completely fine but the sounds is what really get them off like crazy like me personally 
I love like going ham like I'm a gawker. Say I'm got the best head in the world on her. I'd be ready to hit. Put her lips on my dick and she swirl on it. <laughs> so at the end of the day, he's going to get, he's going to get what he's looking for dealing with me. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go crazy. This the gawker. Third tip. Well, yeah. Third tip. It's pretty important for me. Use no hands. Like, well, use less hands. I'm not gonna say use no hands. Use less hands. The more you could use your neck, I suggest you to use it. That's what you have it there for. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people like to, you know, use the, use the hand to jerk and you know, it, it gives them an easier, like, way out of it. But, no. Nah, don't use... Use less hands. Yep, less hands is more. The sounds... Less hands is more with the sounds. <laughs> when Matilda Summer turning on bobble egg, like, boom, 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 boom. She's bobbling. Definitely use less hands. Like, I'm not really, like, a... A hanner, like I like to go crazy. I know this is like a pretty unorthodox like tip video. Yes, it definitely is because it wasn't asked for. But me being a spicy creator, I have been getting requests to make videos like this for a long time. And I recently just got another one from one of my loyal fans. And he said, I think you'll be like actually great with like giving sex tips or just tips period when it comes down to that aspect of life. So I said, I was already thinking about it. So I'm gonna actually give it a try. So that's why we're here right now. I have wrote this book, I was like, damn. Am I about to smoke? Or what? Or tip. Or tip. Moans. Moans? You're gonna think moans go with the sounds? But it absolutely don't. <laughs> like, you have to make your man feel like he's a man. Like, you have to give off that siren. I, I, I don't know. I'm a siren, so I just keep on saying that. Like, you have to know how to seduce. You have to know how to... I'm not going to say you have to know how to seduce. You have to grasp your own sex appeal when you're in control. Once you're doing something like that, you're in control. Mm, yeah, you like that? You know, like, like conversations to make him know, like, you're interested in him and you're interested in just like keeping everything going yeah definitely moves fifth roll jesus you bitches you bitches be wanting to look too pretty and i don't like that cut all that pretty stuff out cut all the pretty stuff out a man doesn't care about your hair your makeup none of that shit when it comes down to you sucking <laughs> you know like he wants you to get nasty he wants you to get like absolutely disgusting he doesn't want you to be pretty like you could be pretty like it's nothing to be a pretty girl i i get it i'm a girl like i'm just a girl like i understand but that man don't care about that. <laughs> Go nuts. <laughs> that's that's what you're supposed to do. That's what we're here for. That's why we made it a comfortable scenery in the first place. For you to do whatever you want to do. You, you can't know like you're in a... I feel like sex is a vulnerable state. You can't just let anybody in. Yeah... 
this is a person that probably already knows you and even if they don't know you like and you trying to get to know them bitch you better make your first your first impression your best impression if anything like if, if this is like another go round, you better make this the best one like they've ever had before if they gotta be asking you baby what got into you like what made you do me like that yeah that type of shit so definitely 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 make it sloppy I'm not fucking <laughs> not, oh I was just about to say some crazy shit but if I was a man I'm not messing with no girl that's not giving me that sloppy top like I need that don't go on so these are my five tips eye contact sucking noises use less hands moans and make it sloppy these are my top five and trust me like they always come back you're gonna say like sounds and moans are the same thing but they're not <laughs> it's definitely not but once you incorporate all these five into your like routine you're definitely gonna see a difference in your partner or you're definitely going to have that person call you back like because they're gonna be like what the hell did you do to me like why do i keep on thinking about you like you have to understand it's a mind thing like it's a mind thing like and with men they use their imagination so much like they will think about what you did to them yes they would and and, and get what they have to get but if they feel like they're gonna come back they're gonna come back trust me but I hope you guys enjoyed my five tips on giving you the best <laughs> in your life. So thank you for watching. If you want me to give any more tips, let me know in the comment below. And we'll definitely make it happen. If you like this video, subscribe.